welcome to my video. Today we're doing a nice little cozy paint with me video. So today I decided to paint the Fushimi Inari Shrine. I went there on my recent trip to Kyoto and it's such a magical place. It's just like the pictures that you see on Pinterest and Instagram. So I wanted to paint it. I'm painting a little a series of paintings inspired by Japan um, and this is one of them so I hope you enjoy. So recently I really re-found my love for painting and art. Since I moved to Japan about five months ago I just haven't had the time to paint or sketch um, so it's been really nice recently to just be able to sit down and actually spend time enjoying the hobby that I love. And I really enjoyed painting this painting and I hope you do too so if you do like it then Show me that you like it by giving me a little like, uh, maybe a cheeky subscribe, that would be wonderful. Um, I make videos about what I'm doing in Japan. I'm, I'm keeping like a visual diary of everything just to look back on, but if you want to join me on this crazy adventure that I'm currently on, then yeah, join the family and subscribe. Yay! I've always enjoyed art as a mini escape whenever I've needed it. It always feels like only a couple minutes have passed when I'm painting, but actually hours of the day are gone, sometimes the whole day. But recently I've been really feeling like art is what I want for my future, it's really where I see my life going. I've been thinking about it constantly and thinking about how to make it happen for myself and how to make a living from my art. Now I really feel like that's the direction my life is pulling me in, so yeah, let's hope I can make it happen for myself.
mentioned before, but I am so bad at giving myself breaks. But at the same time, I think I'm so lucky to have a hobby that makes me forget the time. I don't know, I just feel like if we all had hobbies that made us forget the time, we'd all be a lot happier. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you haven't found it yet, do some digging, try out different things, find out what makes you so passionate that a whole day passes and you don't even realise. Okay, so it's time for my favourite bit, which is the details. So as you can see, there are loads of kanji on these red gates. So I wanted to use a pen to get these details in because they are just so tiny and I wouldn't be able to do that with paint. I know my limits as an artist, so <laughs> um, but yeah. I know I'm writing most of these kanji wrong. I am currently learning Japanese and I'm trying to learn kanji too, but it's very, very hard. There's kanji with very complicated strokes, so please don't be angry that I'm writing it wrong. <laughs> Recently I've been really trying to develop my own personal style as an artist um, and I think I'm getting close to finding a style that I really like and it involves a lot of this uh, line work which gives it a more illustrative style I think which is strange because I don't view myself as an illustrator but it definitely feels less like a painting and more like an illustration when I put this line work in. But I really like it, so I just I keep doing it on my paintings recently, and I'm liking it, so I'm just going to keep doing it. <laughs> um, but let me know what you think. Do you like it too? Let me know in the comments, and if you have any suggestions on how an artist should find their personal style, then please let me know. I'm sure it would be helpful for more than just me. so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little paint with me video if you liked it then i would love it if you would consider subscribing to my youtube channel uh, giving this video a like and checking out my art instagram i will link it in the description and i hope you all have a wonderful day and take care guys see you in my next video